I'm 22, the coming BMX.net. We're lucky enough to be interviewing uh, Mike Aiken today. What's up, Mike? So how's it going? Uh, not much. All right, so I think like first question a lot of people are wondering about because they saw Anthem 2 and like that was all like your older footage from before the incident and everything. And I think a lot of people just want to know where you're at in terms of your recovery and like how <laughs> that's been coming along. Well, it's been coming along really good lately. I mean, we're in San Diego and this is the first trip I've really taken like, since the accident with Tate and Rob and good. I've been, been filming a few things for the upcoming Odyssey thing and it's been going really good. Um, and I know, uh, yeah, is that, that's what you've been filming for? Because I know you had clips in the uh, the Odyssey web yeah, video and everything. We have a web edit, just like a full web part, basically. So I'm trying to get stuff for that. Hell yeah. All right, yeah. So the other question is like, since then, like, how has riding like changed for you? Because I know you were always like pushing yourself super hard, and now it's kind of like probably a different um, progress. I still push myself super hard. It just takes a little longer. Definitely takes longer for me to kick into gear. Just have to be more patient, you know, because I'm really learning. The, I don't have to read. Learn it, but it's definitely I have to retrain myself how to do it if that makes sense. Like re show yeah, myself yeah, how to do it again. So I have to do that while I'm kinda <laughs> doing the trick also, so it takes a little okay. bit longer. I just have to be more patient. So but it's more rewarding at the end, so it's good. Um is are you guys working on another fifty fifty video? Um not as late, but oh. I'd like to. I mean yeah, Elf we're working on a video with eight Elf though. Oh it's you, okay, yeah, it's Utah, not a fifty fifty yeah, video, it's nah, like a Utah thing. scene video. Elf's doing it, so and um okay, like you're one of like there's been a million people from Utah that have kind of been really influential in BMX over the years, like Behringer and Cam Wood and Tate over here, and like just a million guys over the years. Um, what's like the status of the Utah and sort of primarily, I guess, the Salt Lake scene like these days? Doing good. I mean, everyone's super tight. I mean, I'd say it's one of the scenes that everyone rides completely different. And everyone gets along. No one really, I mean, has any bad vibes in there or anything. I mean, everyone goes out and has fun, and that's all that matters, you know. Oh, just yeah. riding bikes and having fun, putting smiles on their faces. Yeah. So. There was a, a ton of changes with the fit team like over the past couple years and uh, you're one of the, the guys who's still on it along with like Van and Justin and everybody and kind of where is fit at right now in terms of a brand like in your eyes and has your involvement like changed a little bit over um, the years? No, besides getting older. So <laughs> no, it definitely has and I'm psyched to be a part of it still and it's just grown. It's changed a little bit, yes. But I mean, things are just going into a little bit different direction, but I guess things tend to do that as time goes on. So going to keep moving forward and I'm really happy for the future plans of stuff. I mean, all the soft goods are looking better. Things are looking better as we move forward. So, you know, everyone's doing their own thing that left, and I'm happy for them. I'm, I wish everyone the best. Now they're all still my good friends, so can't hate on that. <laughs> Your son, uh, how's he doing? Like, I, I mean, I, I got a chance to meet him a few months ago, and, I mean, he's like an awesome kid, super hyper and hilarious yeah, and stuff. He, he's terrorizing as we speak, probably. <laughs> he's, he's doing good, man. He's <laughs> he, he loves to ride all the time, too. He's the other day I went and rode a park and we both went and it's really cold at home. It's like 30 something degrees and he's like, Dad, I don't want to go ride when it's cold anymore. And the <laughs> next day I went out without him because he told me that and then Trish was like, where you at? I'm like, I'm, I'm at uh, park riding. And like, she's like, I want to come with you. We're going to meet you there. I'm like, it's cold though. He's like, he doesn't care. <laughs> so he's definitely got the, he's got the bug, man. It's he's good. Like, got the tenacity. <laughs> yeah, he's um. doing good though. So, I mean, obviously you wear a helmet when you ride now, and yeah. uh, I know Van is like a convert, like he had that he bad head injury and he's been riding with one on and stuff. Is that something like, I know it's really hard to like tell everybody to wear a helmet, since obviously you didn't do it for a long time, and it seems like a lot of people really want to push it as like an agenda to make it a popular thing amongst riders. Is that something you try to encourage people to um, do? Or? Obviously I encourage people to do it, but it's a personal choice, you know? You can't make anyone do something, you know? It's kind of either you're going to or you're not, and you know, I'm going to because of what happened to me. So you can, or you either you're going to or you're not. So I have plans of making some better looking helmets in the future. That's one of my top priorities because I know that helmets can look a lot better. So, and they're not looking so great right now. But believe me, if I got to wear one, I'm going to make them look as good as possible. So. <laughs>